not even that. The ones so that I'm I, showing are like 30 seconds long. Well, I restarted yeah. it to see if it will work. If not, we have a recording. So here we are. Yeah. I would say, though, if Twitch shats the bed again, Lucas, to, that you probably just want to... We probably want to just take this to recording, and, and maybe that'll ease some stuff up on your computer's end, just in case. Because uh, currently, you are not live right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm not too worried about it. We got the... Either. I will be fixing it. They've done some things. They... Oh, wait. Main Rack Company must do more. I show live. Oh, good. I hope so. And if uh, there's anyone left out there. I think. Either oh, way. Yep, yeah. now I have an ad. <laughs> we'll continue here. Yep. Thanks for coming back, Twitch, and Zoom, and all yep. those. <laughs> what was I I was saying something. Uh, uh, you had just given... Uh, me a magical item. Frost. Nope. You just given Frost information from uh, Elenia's history roll correct except i don't think i would you mind dming it to me as i don't think i ever like i don't think it went through or whatever in the zoom chat yeah oh no, no i mean dming it to me through a discord yeah because it because i did it in the zoom chat and i shouldn't have probably done it there so um that's okay i got you so i'll do that you guys are just coming out skirts i had something i was gonna say and of course now i've forgotten so I should have done this in the first place with that. There you go. And we are back in. There's always a rocky start in that first episode. Yeah, it's not my fault. I swear. Um, oh, cursed. Likely story. Yeah. So you guys are having a discussion and different reasons for being there. Is this correct? Did we decide anything or is everybody kind of still doing their own thing? I, mean, I think we've. I think I got outvoted. I read mean, Richter doesn't really care either way. Sure. Um, he's he kind of goes along with the group and is just like, well, I mean, we can either help the villagers or we can help the folks on the inside. I don't think there's enough of us to do both. Whatever you pick, I'll go along with. I mean, we could just get in, rescue the crew, and get back out, and then help the villagers with the whole goblin shtick. That would be most good, preferable. Yes, goblins are easy to kill. But the people yeah. inside, we don't know. We don't know <laughs> what situation they're in. So if we can help them, then the villagers, it is better. Helping the adventurers? Yeah, right. Yes. Helping them. Okay. Showing them up. <coughs> Showing them up. Oh, really? Okay. Carowin Hiracle, who, who Creel, I guess I should probably say it. Who knows? There's probably a lot of ways to say it. Um, the matriarch of the family, also owner of one of the buildings in town, uh, of the general store. So it says, see general store for further information if you decide to take up this post. So you guys are coming to Oakhurst. Looks like you got about, I don't know, half hour till till it gets dark at this point. You can see there's a village hall, a general store right next door. There's a shrine. And you can see that gauntlet fist above it. To the It's actually a temple of Helm. Um, there is a jail next to the village hall on the other side. Oh, blacksmithy and an inn. And then after that, you have all these houses spreading out. It's a village of almost 1,000 people. It's not very big. You got farms on the outlying areas, you know, lots of cows and horses and all kinds of pigs, chickens, and things like that as you come into the city. But these are all the building propers. So, you reach in town. People are looking at you now because, you know, you don't look like farmers and you don't <laughs> look like merchants. You look like those other guys, the troublemakers, Scooby and the gang as they roll into town. Um, oh, one second. And so you're starting to get looks from farmers. You see a couple farmers over leaning against a fence, you know, chewing on some straw, having some talk. And their, their conversation just stops and follows you guys as you walk into the city. What do you do? Kakari shoots some finger guns. <laughs> finger guns. Elenia, upon noticing this, just shakes her, shakes her head and sighs. They kind of like see the finger gun. They look at each other like... Me? What? 
What's that? Like you're like, like you're pointing at them, like, ah, you know, but like you. And they're like, me? No, him. Him? Me? 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 The Night at the Roxbury guys. Yeah. So it, Richter is probably hanging a little further back in the group. And it's, he probably has his hood pulled a little further, further down um, just to kind of keep his face obscured. But we we can see just like there is just a random piece of wheat that's probably been snagged from a nearby farm. Stick it, sticking out of it. Okay. So. All right. So the farmers look alar- alarmed, but if you guys keep walking, they don't pursue you with questions or anything. And you come into the town. Like I said, it's getting darker. You can see hear some rowdy behavior and some music coming from the old boar inn, as you see the signs swinging above. Of this boar that looks like kind of like a person sitting in a chair reclining with a mug of ale with a long white beard some of the paint is flaked from there nice warm breeze kind of comes with you and brings the uh, smell of food and, and tobacco out of the inn you can hear a little bit of ringing from the blacksmith as the forge is still going strong a few houses down and uh here's someone screaming like nah i won't do it again i, I, I won't as someone's getting hauled inside the jail on the other side of City Hall by a couple of guardsmen. You know, standard everyday things going on in the big city. Sorry, little village. This is Oakhurst. Uh, So thoroughly dissessed villages. (laughs) So uncivilized. Hey, hell of a lot more civilized than upper crust know-it-alls like you, princess. (laughs) Uh, the village uh, is breathtaking. <laughs> I shall not even deign to reply to that. Good, Probably because you can't. Be thumped. <laughs> mm. but, so. <laughs> the poor elven lady. Oh my goodness. It, 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 like Richter kind of get <laughs> like we see Richter kind of look up like past us. So it is like, I mean, what were you expecting? Like really. We're in the middle of backwater nowhere. <laughs> Something besides the middle of backwater nowhere. Do they even have running water? I saw a well over there. <laughs> That's it. It's yeah. wells. Or even hot uh, well. <sighs> you know how to make a fire, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys. That's just, how you get hot water. There's a little that bit of commotion takes, stirring from you guys. Oh, sorry. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. That, that takes time. Whoa. Time. Why you, you want to talk about here? time? I think the only one here who should be afraid of time should should be so should be gray hairs back there. <laughs> As it, it just... I shall concede that. Ah. Uh, this once. No. Gray hairs. Besides the point, we, I guess let's figure out and shack up for the night, I suppose. Well, if I must. You want to be that. sleeping under the bush again? No. That's what I thought. <laughs> so you guys can, whoever's not deep in conversation, or if you think you're looking around, you can make a perception check. Yeah, I'm a halfling who hides from the law. I'm always <laughs> looking around, except now, apparently. Can wow, have... that's an embarrassing if you, perception if you check. Think, it's not a big deal. Only if you think you are. I mean, you can... Can I have the my familiar make a perception check? Just because his per- passive perception is actually better than mine. Can it, If it sees something, can it communicate to you in a way that you would understand? I, that is a great question. I need to look is into it mag- that. I'll keep, for now, I'm just going to assume it's kind of like shadow runs, uh, like spirits where they can't talk, but they can send kind of like mental images and stuff. Yeah. The, Telepathy. the question is: is is it a creature magical in nature? Like, is is your familiar made of magic, or is your familiar? It is a fey that is the that has taken the form of an owl. Then it probably so, so. Then, by familiar rules, and again, the DM no, can rule on this, probably. but uh, 
traditionally it's written that that familiars can mentally communicate in little bits and starts that's oh, okay. that's fine with cool. me like, that's fine with me the question is you can roll could could it comprehend so so yeah I'll, I'll just roll for the hacker. sure so he only has uh how do you even do i just uh you want to open oh, yeah, it i guess i do so the 15s and above, and you can roll for. Nope. You can roll. You can roll for your owl if you like. So I did. Grim. Oh, okay. Grim and Baragon. As the, the they're chatting, you look up and you see this big stout man coming out of the city hall, and he's trying to lock up, and he's being followed by another guy with parchment, you know, like just scribbling furiously, and two other guys following them. They're both obviously farmers, and they're just talking furiously. And this big guy is just like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's taking it down. And he's trying to lock up City Hall for the night. And they're just like, and they're just complaining and complaining and complaining. And, and he points to the guy with a pen. He's like, I got it on record. Got it on record. Night's over. We'll talk tomorrow. You need to get home. Curfew. And that's about all you hear. It's just kind of that. And then Mar shouting, you know, it gets a little bit rowdier from the inn. And that's about it at the moment. The blacksmith is still ringing true over on the other side of the street. And you can see that the merchant shop is also, some of the candles are going out, the lamps inside are going out, as it's probably closing down as well. If we are to stay in that dump that calls itself a tavern, we should probably make haste before it too closes down for the evening. Yes. <laughs> I, I just, I kind of ignore what the people are arguing, who are arguing over there. I keep a mental record of it, but I walk over to the end. Well, stomp. <laughs> stomp. Over to the end. And I just open the door, but because of my, because of where I am, it just swings out, swings and slams open. I don't mean for it to oh. slam, but... It rattles the wall, and the music stops, and people, everybody looks, and they're like, <gasps> some, some, some does the spit crouch. take. It, 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 and like, it, like as, soon as, uh, as soon as Richter realizes what's going on, like, there's, Richter just barrels between between your legs and stands up, like, it's not what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, nothing to see here, he's just a little strong, a little strong for his uh, size. Uh, how, how tall is the doorway? <laughs> it's probably your standard six and a, we'll say it's like six and a half feet. So you probably have yeah, to so duck I just am, a little bit. I am dick. I am sorry, patrons. I am a little, as my companion here said, heavy handed. I do apologize. So they're cleaning up. The tavern girl over there is like bringing a wipe out to where the guy just spit across the room. And this, this rather big dude behind the bar is just. He's really, he's by like six feet tall. He's really robust. And he's just wiping out a mug, you know, with a rag. He's like, ha! Venturers, obviously. My best customers, yeah. usually. And sometimes my worst. Come on in, come on in. Got stew left. Ah. In you go, come on. A good, hearty village stew. Yes, what a good adventure needs. Hell yeah. yes. Just, and just like we us. hear, we hear, we hear a Ricker st like st like we hear a loud growl, growl, like like it almost sounds like sounds like um the Leonin is is um, growling, but instead it's Richter's stomach is like, <laughs> yeah, Stu sounds really good right now. Man. <laughs> yes. He goes, I, th I always throw an evening meal and a breakfast in with your stay. It's five silver a piece. Throw you a group discount if you want to share rooms. I shall take my own room. <laughs> it's like, I just knew Calcario, it. Calcario side eyes Alinea and goes, agreed. <laughs> yes, I will also require my own room because uh, I am probably not the best person to bunk with. The real question is, do I even have five silver? Or what'd you say it was three or everybody, silver, it, five Like silver? everybody from character creation, if it, if for standard character creation starts with 10 gold pieces. So that's half that's half a gold then. Yeah, oh. so 5 silver is half a gold. I thought um I thought for character I... creation we could like roll for it. Or do we uh, just that's, add the 10 that's, additional? 
we only get 10 additional from class starting equipment and let the uh. because uh, so because 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 otherwise or i guess uh I didn't, at least I, the, I i can show you after yeah. this because i can show you the math for it well what oh oh i have okay i have enough yay yeah so I'm because gonna... uh yeah because uh either that or was it would have been starting wealth which that would have been rolling for starting wealth i rolled for it earlier in the channel so okay well as sorry let's see what that you might be what do you have like a, oh 11 i see what you have what you have left over it's not that much more i'm not too concerned we can just well, we can discuss it later yeah, so I can, I, I'll, I can fix it. Trust me, you'll later. make some money in, in this dungeon. Out of character, you're gonna make some money. Yep. We damn well better make money in character. Huh. <laughs> so, you're in character. Uh, but... Can't talk to my out of character. No, it doesn't work <laughs> like that. Anyways, so those two of us. I can break the fourth wall within the fourth wall break. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> she's, she's a monk. <laughs> she break, she I will break walls all of breakfast. the walls. So other than Grim, possibly, who may or may not have followed you in, the, the three of the four of you have said, I want my own rooms, which leaves Richter standing there going, well... <laughs> whatever Unless reason. Richter wants to bunk with me. I'd be full bunker with Richter. Probably. I mean, I Richter is like... Richter is like... I mean, I have no problems bunking with you, and, you know... Gold, gold stretches further when it's with friends. <laughs> so he'll only charge per room, so the discount is basically Richter's free. You guys can split it the way you want. But, and then we'll decide Grim in a minute. He's like, come on in, come on in. Haven't seen you all folk like you for a while, not since Sir Bradford. That's been a couple weeks, but boy, after that, it's been a long time. And he's, yeah. he's just got, he's coming up and serving you himself. Ales, mulled wines, Water? Then anyway. Ale. Ale. Water. Ale. Ale and wine. <laughs> Aha, ale and you wine. You ain't mixed drinks like that. And water for the no, ladies. No, he, he's, got, he's, got he's got a pitcher for both. <laughs> you don't mix drinks like that. That is blasphemy. The only the only mixing that's going to be happening is in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> that's Take the worst place to mix it. Did don't take this away from me. <laughs> So he's I like, really did not need to know that. ale, ale, ale slash wine for this pretty lady. Water. Water. I'll get as much of the mineral out of it as I can for you. He kind of winks. <laughs> like Richter kind of le leads over to Calcaria. So three copper says that, that she, she complains about the water. <laughs> I'm not even going to take that bet. <laughs> That's a In, sure thing. Inkeep, what is your name? Yeah, I like to know oh. people's names. Yes, 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 of course. Uh, this is the Old Bar Inn, and I'm its proprietor, Garen. I'm a male human commoner. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joseph, you, why did you do it? I swear it did on purpose. I, I actually don't think he did. No, I don't think he <laughs> did. I think that might have... Oh, wow. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Ironclad N7 Ironclad is now following. Thank you for the follow. Um, let me readjust. Let me just readjust. Oh, wow, everybody. Everybody, everybody's all screwed up now. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I didn't click anything, but I know you did it. You did it unconsciously <laughs> on purpose to spite me. No, I all I had was a shirt over, and I pulled it over. That's all I did. What did I say about using shirts? That actually, that actually you should. So. Oh, yes, I guess yeah, that was your said, preferred way. <laughs> yeah, you, you you said you said no shirt, no service, friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Grim, you were gone for a moment. The other four stepped into the tavern. Are already taking rooms or buying renting rooms and having stew and wine and water and ale. Did you follow them in, or did you stay outside? We'll. Um, I'll be outside for a second. What's who's out there? All right, and I'm gonna come back to you, Baragon, because I was in the middle of. What do you say? He's like, oh yeah, I'm the proprietor, Garen. I own this place. Been here for about 20 years. He goes, in your name, mm. my good sir. 
Oh, Baragon Grimpaw. Of Clan Grimpaw. You're a huge explicit delete here. Man of a lion, or li I don't want to say it wrong. You're a, bi you're a big guy. I'm going to get you an extra bowl of stew, because I think you oh. probably need it. Oh, thank Calcaria. you. Calcaria kind of leans across the table, like across uh, where Richter's sitting. She's like, you know you don't have to say the whole thing every time, right? Like, you can just introduce yourself as... Beryl. Thank you. Beryl. Yes, I would. Yeah, yeah. No. There's I... a reason. Oh, sorry. Like, no, at the I... mention of extra stew, like, Richter was like... I would like some extra t as well to my my friendly barkeep, Mr. Garum. <laughs> no, I am obliged to uh, say my full name. It is what we were brought brought up with in my home. I mean, just <laughs> it's a bit mouthy. Baragon Grimclaw is bad enough. You don't have to add the clan Grimclaw because it's right there. Uh, I'm just saying. I see your point, and as you are traveling with me, you can just call me Baragon. But. But. Alright, Baragon. I like to. But I just. It's a part of me that I have to uh, introduce myself with the full title. It's royalty right here. And Garen's just like watching you guys talk. It's like, all right, so extra stew for you and extra stew for you. And he shuffles off. And then we, we zip outside real quick to see Grim. Um, well, you notice that those two farmers were arguing with someone out of City Hall. And like I said, then there was this, the din and the sound. There's the j someone being arrested and taken into the jail. There's the merchant store, which is beginning to close up. And the blacksmith, which is still going on. And that's about the main things. Otherwise, just people are starting to close up for the night, you know, getting dark. Yeah, is there any friendly face nearby? I guess is what you would define as a friendly face. I mean, it's just the only people that are right there within like a building or two of you is are the four people I was telling you that were having a, dis a heated discussion. They might be friendly when they're not angry. I'll wait a moment, see if one of them walks away from the other. Um, the two farmers get done with what they're speaking, and they walk off angrily, and they start heading towards the old boar inn. <laughs> and then the other guy just takes a kerchief out, the big, robust guy, and stamps it off. He's like, Phew. and he's talking to the guy who's penning stuff, and the guy's just looking back. He's like, yeah, but they got a point. Because we just don't have that kind of money. You can't protect them. And then they, he's like, have a good night. He goes, you too, mayor. And the guy who's penning stuff walks away, and the guy who's the mayor begins to walk in his own direction. Yeah, I'll approach the mayor. He sees you, and he's like, oh, now there's another petition, please. I'm just at my <laughs> wit's end for the day. No, that's not what it is, uh, Rim says. Just a passing by, and I see that you have seemed to have a problem, and and I'm looking for some work. Is there something I can help you with? He looks you up and down. He's like, you... Well, you wear the vestments of, of Helm. I actually have a shrine of Helm right over there. I, I noticed that. I was going to wait for it to open up and drop in. Oh, uh, Corky has it open all the night long. You can stop in whenever you want. But uh, he goes... He goes... It might be a lot for one man to take on himself, but I've been having problems with cattle being killed. Sometimes people. That's why we kind of have a curfew. Bring all your herds in. Bring everybody in before dark. Something happens to them at night. They're found dead. Like you've, you've always had this problem, or? It's not right. Uh, it's just from time to time. Mostly in the spring, summer, and fall. Not so much in the winter. But they just, they're found drained of blood. Lots of needle-like marks in them. And these farmers have just actually lost a couple cattle each over the last week. And they're 
angry at me. They're telling me I need to replace them or protect them or find the menace. Um, so I don't, know, awesome. I don't know. I only have so much in the budget to replenish cattle. You know, they're not cheap. Well, cattle's one thing, but it sounds like people are getting hurt too. <laughs> I've I had a young young kid die about three months ago. Found the same way, and then it wasn't since last year. Uh, old lady Miriam, she was found dead the same way, not too far from her home. But it's been a while, not as much in the humans. It's a terrible thing to happen. What was the young lad's name? Let me open my random name generator. Uh, <laughs> uh, his, his young lad's name was Mraz. Mraz? And his family name? Son of Mraz. I don't know. <laughs> I, I was amazed that you didn't go for the, he, his name was Nunya from from Family Business. Uh. That's awful. I'll, I'll definitely put him on my mind, but I'm not alone, actually. I've just ran into a bunch of old friends. And... Oh, I think we can help you. I think we can help you here. I, it feels right. He goes that would be, oh man, bless, bless Helm. That would be, that would be great. Uh, I don't have much to go on. It's just that the only place nearby is, well, you probably heard of it. This old fortress that's fallen in the ground. Um, the sun, the citadel. He goes, I'd have to think maybe something's come from the, all kinds of evil stuff lives there. Goblins live there, so there's probably other stuff. But otherwise, it's random countryside attacks. So I don't really know. That's that's probably the point of the, the of origin of most of the bad things. But otherwise, if you're good at investigation, have at it. I will, I would gladly throw some coin your way if you can solve this mystery. How far is it from here? Is it a horse ride or uh, east seven miles? Not going to get there before uh, before night. I'm afraid to not tonight. But you could get there easily in the morning. Um, yeah, I think this is very important. Is there actually? Horses you can loan us to get us in our travel. We can take care of this tomorrow. Horses. Oh, on top of the cattle. I don't I don't know. That's gonna be a little persa persuasion check coming in, I think there, sir. Okay. And I'm not trying to be over the top, so Sure. If he said no, it wouldn't affect me. My demeanor. Twelve. He goes. I could loan you two horses. That's about all I could spare right now. I need to have them all here for my guards. Midsummer solstice is coming, and the goblins always come to sell their fruit. And I need to make sure all my people are armed and on horseback as much as I can in case we get trouble from them. Oh, that's that's quite more than more than generous. I appreciate that. You uh, see, see the black rest tonight, and we'll uh, be on that. See me in the morning. I'll be at City Hall. Where, should, where would you re recommend a man like me to sleep tonight? Well, I mean, the old bore in is good, especially if you have people with you, but I'm sure Corky would take you in, especially as you uh, both look to Helm. Okay, let me speak to my friends, and then I'll see you tomorrow. At the, you said the, uh, the main building? Yeah, you can come to City Hall. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night, sir. <sighs> Tr try. I'm gonna cast uh, guidance, and then um, give it to him. As I guess. What's that do? I know. I should know. It's a small bonus. He gets a D4 um, It was a ability check of his choice. Have a good night, sir. He's gonna need it for persuade. Either he's gonna need it for constitution as he drinks himself to sleep, or for persuasion against the townsfolk the next morning. <laughs> yeah, however he wants to use it's fine. I mean, it'll last for a minute. So, oh, well, as he pulls the hip flask from his belt on the way out, that's well, we'll just let we'll let that become a mystery for now. But he's like, ah, the All blessings right. of Helm. Thank you, thank you, and. We kind of do a 180 turn, and we're still looking at the front of you, but it's you just opening the door of the old boar inn. And in those last 10 minutes or so, how much ruckus has happened with the other four of you sharing a table in the inn? I mean, you got people, like, watching you now, but the music started again, right? Or maybe it's not. Maybe there's a bar fight going on. I have no idea what's going on here. 
Please not a bar fight at level I propose Kalkari and Richter are having a drinking contest. And because it's is... totally fair, the t yeah, against because... the halfling. <laughs> and it is probably spurred on because we've probably been served our stew, and we watched as Richter just made the stew disappear. Just, just like he's a rogue. He ate, he ate, he ate faster. He ate faster than than Grimclaw over there. So, so it's not a who can drink more drinking contest. It's who can down. No, it's followed by the drinking the contest. Fastest. But no, no. I mean, it's not. It's not a who can drink more. It's a who can down this pint the fastest. Yeah. So speed chugging. All right. Yes, we're speed jugging. And then he just has this perpetual look of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> and I would rather be anywhere but here. Well, you do have a room. And... <laughs> Out of character, Calcaria does it specifically to get that look. <laughs> At Rick, least kinda, half the time. Rick kind of looks looks over and is like, you know, you'd have a lot more fun if you joined us. But... No. I have standards. And then, and then at, at, like, at, at that... That he's like three, two, one, go. <laughs> he just like chip, 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 chip. <laughs> What's Barag? So, Elenia is in disdain. The other two are drinking. Baragon is currently doing what? She's I oh. taking bets. No, I, I am, I am stood up because I have fear that I am going to break the chair. The <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> and I call over Garum again. Uh, sir. Master I Grimplot. Do have, I do have something to uh, ask. Uh, I heard uh, a bunch of adventurers like ourselves went missing around these parts. Oh, he's like, in the areas being merry, and, and people are watching the other two, and some of the, the common folk are passing copper around, so they're starting to take bets. You know, some of the, the two farmers have just walked in before Grim, and they're sitting at the bar, and he's like looking around. He's like, he goes, "All right, sh- come here, come here." And he brings you over like to his like to a, a quieter corner, you know. And he's like, okay. he goes, "Yeah, yeah." He goes, about a couple weeks ago. Uh, Sir Bradford, he's called. He's a, he's actually a paladin of of Helm. We have a shrine of Helm here. Um, yeah, same as that old guy right there that just walked in. Same. That's Grim walking in, right? He's like, he he came. Oh, I remember he had a magic sword. Everybody loved that. No one's ever seen a magic sword before. They called it Shatter Spike. It's a long sword. It's a real nice sword. Um, and he came in. And he, it's it was nice, but he got. The local kids all up in a tussle about adventuring. He said he was there to purge the evil out of the Sunless Citadel. And he got he got the brother and sister of the matriarch down the road to jump in and also one of our rangers, which is one of my or one of the constables here. And the four of them went bustling off to be adventurers. And then he looks like at all of you. And like a light clicks on, he's like, Oh no. Well, anyway, adventures. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to put some things together. No, no, it's fine. That's fine. He goes. No, uh, I'm just kind of. He elbows you a little bit, and he's like, hits rock solid, like ribs or you know, muscles under your fur. Like, oh, he goes. You know, he, he, these adventures go off, and they haven't come back. All I know is Carolyn, who's the mother of the of the brother and sister, is just beside herself. And where does this woman live? She, she runs the merchant shop and lives lives directly behind it. Okay. She's often a reward so, for finding of her children. How experienced were these, other than the paladin? I assume he, he would have been very experienced with this kind of thing. But were the kids? <sighs> Boy, they were maybe twenty. You know they. They got. They're starting a career. Talgan. He's he's the brother. He's he was practicing art of fighting, um, wielding weapons like you, and his sister Sharwin. She was dabbling in wizardry, but neither had gone very far. She had just gone back from basic school. He was looking at joining the constable. And they took their skills and went out adventuring. I'm, I fear for them. Well, I must find their mother in the morning, and I will make a vow that I will find her children. <laughs> 
Wow. She goes, hey, Kara, yeah, two more bowls. He's like, well, if so, you're going to need all the strength you can get. This is what I do. I help people who need it and may not be able to help themselves. Well, those kids couldn't help them damn selves, I'll tell you that much. Just following that crazy paladin off into who knows where. But anyways, more stew for you. Eat up, sir. And he claps Not you on the shoulder and his hand bounces off. He's like, ah. And he goes back yeah, to don't, his don't, 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 don't do that, sir. <laughs> I'm rock solid. Hand, hands <laughs> like yours are not capable of uh, doing anything. Do I didn't it. even feel it. <laughs> Just, he's just holding his throbbing hand. And okay, so Grim, this is basically what you've seen as you've come in. Calcara and Richter, you can make me constitution saves or constitution checks if you want to. <laughs> See how well you start holding out as you start pounding these drinks. Yeah, this is going to go interestingly. I hope so. That's what we're here for. <laughs> 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 we just watch as Richter. I lost to the halfling! That's a one. I got a nat one. <laughs> like, Rick, like Richter, Richter pounds down his ale, and then he follows it up by the rest of his pitcher of ale, and then he follows it up but with, with, some his, wine. with his pitcher of wine. I I don't think Calcara has passed out, but your stomach is turning quite sour because this ale is – it's – it's pee. Sour? It's, it's, it's <laughs> sour. But you almost feel like Richter almost knew because he's drinking all this ale, but then he follows it with that sweet wine. And maybe, maybe and, the mixing yeah. is a perfect combination after all. And like, just Richter like holds up a finger at, as soon as he's done. And, and then he just lets out the loudest belch. Like, it, it, it's like prodigious. <laughs> People are like, yeah, and some other people are like, no, oh, I really thought Deef Cursor Deefling, duh, the halfling, you never bet against a halfling. And so there's, I mean, it's not that you threw up or anything, it's just that you couldn't finish your first drink, and Richter took all three. Doesn't mean you can't play again, of course, but right. the ale is nasty. So she, she finishes half of it and goes, no. <laughs> And then Richter, like, then reaches over and brings the mug towards him, and then he just downs it. <laughs> How can you drink that swill? That is a very good question. You don't get to speak. <laughs> she, she, just squares, she just squares at you. <laughs> now, now, that's... Uh, so, now, now, did, so... If the lady wants to be a prude, she can be a prude. No need I'm to get I am not nasty. a prude. <laughs> she probably drinks not a prude not a prude the, 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 elf, <laughs> the elf lady is not a prude is a, like, no, she's Richter. a princess so, okay. so Richter brings, a, brings like probably had another thing of wine coming he brings over the pitcher of wine and puts it in front of um, puts it in front of um, Liliana is like Prude. No. Prude. No. prude. Prude, 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 prude. Kalkari is going to reach over and grab it from in front of her and down it to wash the taste of uh, that swill that pissed out of her mouth. Swill piss. All right. <laughs> the water also is okay, Elania, as far as backwoods villages go. It is a little, ch it is a little like gritty, just a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, it's clean and cold. It's cleanish. Cleanish, <laughs> but it is cold. It's just a little bit of grit. And Grim, let me bounce back yeah. to you. Well, I'm gonna draw some attention to me. Oh. I thought I'm a turkey. The door slammed shut behind me. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna walk over to my friends. So you walk in and the doors just shut on their own. Right, be right behind me, uh, slam shut, kind of like a wind gust or something. So everyone kind of looks over. Everybody screams, oh, "Witch!" Yeah. and you were burned at the stake. At the end. <laughs> if, if that's what you want, but no, just like a wind gust. <laughs> and no, you get the attention. Like the drinking contest is over. All heads turn towards you, and they're like, "Oh, mm. 
different reactions, kind of quiet and calm. Hey, gray hairs, what took you so long? I look back to test see what that was. Friends, there's something, something urgent that needs needs us. What, like all of you, in your moment of weakness, I think you need to redeem here. And there's been murders happening in this town. What do I need to redeem? A place. Well, only you would know that. A place called the Sunless Citadel seems to have some kind of mystery around it, and it, a young child has died just recently. Hmm. I think we need to help. I concur. Sunless Citadel. A, a yeah, sun of that's why I was over here. Why yeah. I was in the area. I just talked to the mayor, and the son of Moraz has, has been killed. As well as some cattle, which I don't care about the cattle. But... What do you guys say? Well, maybe you should care a little bit about the cattle. You see, the farmers there, they rely on their livestock, and cattle ain't cheap. And then, like, Richter, like, burps again. It's like, ooh, that one was a little sour. <laughs> so so civilized. Could we help these people? I mean, I don't, I don't see why not probably come out come out somewhat profitable for us i mean if it's an entire citadel and like richter air quotes and at this point like richter is like leaned back in his chair like he's like, <coughs> he's, like balancing on on two legs of this, his chair any treasure is of that i find is yours richter i, I need no treasure oh snap Hmm. Kitty cat. Now, see, gray hairs. This is why I like you. <laughs> I did promise reward. Also, we have two horses to help us get there. It's, it's some seven miles away. One is mine. <laughs> One is mine. <laughs> I think we should double yep. up with the horses. But... Miss Princess needs her chariot. Of course. Aragon has obviously returned to the table by now. Still stood up, he's eating in more stew, and he's just like, We must uh, go see the mother of the two missing. I will refer to them as children. Yeah. Um, uh, they they went they with think. a. They went with a paladin adventuring. Into oh, I paladin? Just, Yes, and to what I assume is this sunless citadel I have been hearing about, and have been most intrigued, I assume it is there. They had gone. Hmm. But I must uh, go to their mother and make a vow that I will find her trick. Sounds great. <laughs> Are we going to get a volunteer to solve everybody's problems in this city? I I think we're traveling. We're traveling with a paladin and, and a cleric. What do you think? I think it's six birds with one stone. That's the way it sounds like. Therefore, it is magic missile. <laughs> All of you are correct in saying. Cheer up, Calcaria. If, if if it wasn't wasn't going to be adventurous, we wouldn't have joined up with these guys. I mean, I was coming this direction to like defeat the sunless citadel anyway so i was heading in that direction i guess if we go <laughs> in we burn. can one stone show up the other i mean help the other adventurers mm. and make a name for ourselves myself yes you know same difference it's settled then tomorrow morning yes tomorrow morning Please. We we must go see the mother of the two children first. Do we have to? Yes, <laughs> I must tell I must tell her that I will find her children and tell that paladin off for taking two inexperienced adventures into such a possibly dangerous place. I mean, when you think about it, every adventurer starts off untrained. An inexperienced. You don't. You can't get experienced until you've been inexperienced. So I mean, and it's like right at, in their backyard. At, so what better place to start? 
start, right? I mean, Maybe. that'd be like, she's got a point. I mean, that's like asking for workers to apply with six years of experience, but you know, you need job to have experience. But, but, but job wants experience to hire you. <laughs> Yes, it may be for you, but as Leonans are bred for this kind of thing, we... I love this guy. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, let's, let's get let's get another round, and then I think it's time for bed. Then. And then we'll go get murdered. Yay. So, Richter, like, Richter calls for another round. Like Richter, of course, of getting like another, another, like another, like pitcher of ale and another pitcher of wine, just to I'll himself. I'll switch to wine. <laughs> Calgary is switching to wine. That ale has obviously <laughs> too bad for even my stomach. Unlike unlike the ale, the wine's actually not bad. It settles your stomach a bit and actually gives you that little bit of glow. That you're looking for. Even if wine better suits Alenia than myself. Richter, on the other hand, is feeling pretty good, I would have to say. <laughs> like, like Richter packs it away, and he's just like, ah, just another when, just another Thursday night. <laughs> That's right. All right, I think you guys want to skip ahead to the morning. Uh, sure. I'll check out that chapel that you mentioned. Oh. That's right. Yes, I don't want to cut that out. I'll but. tell my friends, yeah, I've given up drinking a long time ago, and I walk out. Of course you did. Buddy duddy. <laughs> Buddy duddy. <laughs> uh, so, the Shrine of Helm. It's a very small building. It's actually built, there's a few spaces for human sized people, but it's really framed around uh, those of the halfling and gnomish persuasion but definitely oh. decorated in a slightly gnomish style as you see a small female gnome who's just, you know, she's doing some prayers. She, she hears you probably entering. What kind of armor do you have on? Oh, that's right. Um, I think it's, uh, let's see. It is full plate. Chainmail. It's yeah. loud. Like, yeah, I can't hide it. Hide it no. Okay. All right, that's kind of, I was thinking there a little bit, and she, she hears, and she gets up, and she turns around, and she's like, oh, hello, fellow brother of Helm. And she comes up, she goes, welcome to the Shrine of Helm, of course, of Oakhurst. I am Dem Corky Nacko. Everyone calls me Corky. Corky Cousin Corky. <laughs> anyway, hi, nice to meet you. You are? Well, Corky, my name is Grim Rain, and I was sent here from the mayor, says there's problems in town. Oh, 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 yes. Well, well, I, I guess, I guess. Just, I just try to keep people healed here. You know, offer healing, keep people repaired. You know. Um, what kind of things? healing have you had to been doing lately? Not much. Just sometimes when some of the cattle get wounded from the night attacks, when people don't put them away. What do the wounds look like? I'm sorry to be so inquisitive. I've tasked to help him, the mayor. Oh, excellent, excellent. Helm will guide you and protect you and bless you for this. They are, they're like small needles, like needle wounds. Like if you could sharpen all my fingers and I'd stab you with them. And she's like, hit your shin, dink, 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 or your thigh. She's like, you know, example. I do a, uh, um, I don't know, some kind of check inside or something to kind of figure this out, what it could be. I need to look at a character sheet so I can see. Insight. Or medicine. I don't think medicine. Medicine would be wisdom, I think. Oh, I'm trying to see if there's a stat that could be based off wisdom. I think. Insight it, is wisdom based. Yeah, I, I think insight would be fine. So I try to think back uh, of what kind of creatures I've seen that and have insight into that. This is. I mean, it would have to be something that's like a tough the siphon mouth, but there's, she indicates there's too many injuries that it's probably a mouth and it's, it's attacked by so many, many small, small things. But otherwise, it seems like it's something slightly bigger and nothing in your recollection 
tells you gives you much of a clue of what this is. I yeah, here we go. I'll, I'll I'm gonna cast guidance on her and ask her what she thinks. <laughs> Maybe you could put this together. Okay. Well, I don't have stats. Let me just go ahead and make a brand new character real quick. Give me two hours. Um, no, just kidding. <laughs> However you want um, to do fine. I'm not looking for her. Um, let's see if I can is give it you... Just a, is this person, like, if I may make a suggestion to you, Lucas, is... Throw it out there. So is if this if this person is just not an adventurer, then She's, yeah. it's... It's it, it should probably be just a straight D roll slash R D uh, space D twenty plus whatever the guidance is. Cause... Let's say she she can heal though, so she must. She's That's not cool. an adventurer, but I will. Ooh. Which because insight really isn't for for like putting information together. Insight's more like reading people. I'd still give her, but I'd probably round her up around fourteen or so. But she's still she's like, I I just don't know. I I would think it were that all the evil around here seems to stem from that sunken city. The um, sunless no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I always say it the wrong way, but I don't know what is from there. I I don't. I just know goblins live there, and I'm sure there's other creatures. I would be your best source. But the attacks seem to come from around the countryside. But something small, mm -hmm. and several of them, they will get all these bites in one location like that. Yeah, they'll get they'll have dozens of needle-like wounds. Sure. And thank you. Mm -hmm. But yes, yes, you are welcome to stay here for the night if you wish. I have yeah. lodging over here, and that's it. It's a very small shrine. <laughs> <laughs> just like points to the one human sized like cot like yep there you go this the tour is over size. it's not the size of the shrine you know that yeah oh <laughs> uh, boy and now we're going to the next day <laughs> uh, next day next morning I think we'll go to Baragon if that works for everybody, outside the general store. Calcaria wanted to be there when he speaks to the mother because she wants to make sure that we get a promise of pay. Gotcha. She's got a feeling he wouldn't insist on that if it wasn't immediately offered. He would just go in. We're going to find them no matter what. We're going to bring them back and not ask for any compensation. Don't worry about paying us at all. It's all good. Yep. Yeah. He probably would decline payment, actually, which is what she's afraid of. So, no, I'm going to be there. Even if I hate dealing with mothers and tears and there's likely to be both. <laughs> okay. I guess I enter the, the store then. There's no one outside. <laughs> Uh, yes, you see, uh, you see a woman, middle-aged, human. Just uh, she's like dusting and cleaning up. She's arranging some things. You get all your your halves. It's what's it who what she needs. Camping supply, gear, some basic things like that. Some weapons and armor. Nothing special. She's like, oh, come in. Whoa. Um, she looks up at the Leonin, and she's like, and then the, the tiefling like poking around or <laughs> coming like, oh, 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 hello, hello. Come in, my friends. Come in. But just opening up. Um, have a look around. Ask me if you have any questions. My name is Carolyn. I'd be glad to uh, help you out. She has, she has an air of nobility around her, even though she lives in this dump water city. She she dresses nice, has a nice big signet ring on one of her hands, some jewelry. Hey. There might not be any tears. And like there, there's just like the just this little <laughs> image of Richter kind of peeking in the door sideways and just like a. <laughs> no, tr no trouble ever. Hello, I, I am not actually here to purchase. Uh, you are, you might want to sit down, but you are the mother of the two, the two children who went with a paladin. 
Uh, and she does kind of like lean back against the counter. She's like, uh, I, I wasn't expecting you to say that. Yeah, uh, yes, Talgan and, and Sharwin, my, my, my son and daughter, respectively. I am here to make a vow to you that I will find them uh, and bring them back safe to you. Oh, okay. I. Well, I mean, I would be grateful, but you're a stranger. Or, what? What? Sir. What does Alina do marching in and just saying that I don't understand what's in it for you? Uh, it's kind of yeah. what he does. I heard that there was going to be a reward for any <laughs> knowledge of what happened to them. We do not need no reward. I, you can speak. I, I, she's, she's following both of you. We do not need. I, um, can I want you to be in there as well? Yeah. We do not need a large reward. We do not need any reward. You Save do not need any reward. <laughs> Saving them is enough, and surely there'll be something for you to plunder down in this place that you can claim as your reward. We do not need to yeah, get money from this woman who is, in a lot is of pain. well off enough to afford it. However, I must state that part of my vow is if I cannot find them, you know, in a in a fit state, I will at least uh, find a way to make it easy for you to transition into a new life. <laughs> wow. Jesus, like, um, okay. Um, well, they there's four of them. I have enough money saved up for those who want to be paid. I can offer a good chunk of coin for per person. Uh, for each of those people, per each of you, um, or uh, at least their signet ring, if if you if you can't find them, if they if they passed, she hesitates just slightly when she says that. But meanwhile, Richter's moved his way in and is doing whatever, and, and she's like, but she's she doesn't even see him at this point, right? You can because because like I'm literally standing behind Grimclaw, and because I am so short. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I am, I can't be noticed because yeah, and I'm uh, pretty wide as well. I'm tall because I because the other wide. thing too is just like uh, like creatures of a larger class than me, aka a, a seven foot tall Leonin. Since you are a medium and technically I'm a halfling, so I am yeah. out as small. Um, technically, I I disappear behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can go ahead. I'm trying to think of what's what's the role going to be here? Is it stealth? Um, or is there no sleight of hand? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You can make as Richter as Richter just kind of like out, out of eyesight of everybody because again he he just kind of blends in. He's just going to kind of reach over and and see about uh, acquiring some additional supplies. I was going to say you can make that with advantage. So you can, you can roll with advantage uh, if you'd like. Okay, I'll I'll just I'll just roll roll it okay, again sure. and, and take the highest. Yep. Yep. Uh, Twenty one. You pill for any type of general merchandise item that you wish. Um. In this case, um. So this is like just like a general adventure shop, quote mm -hmm. unquote. Yep. General merchandise so, store. So is there? So, um, so is there healing potions at all? No, there's not. I, general okay. non-magical stuff. I will, I will be. There's weapons. There's armor. General goods like, you know, your your adventuring gear, but nothing of the magical nature like that. Or potions, vials, feather tokens, and things. I, Elenia, you were gonna say something. I was gonna. First, I was gonna say, kind of jokingly, does a magical rapier count as? A general adventure in good, <laughs> and then I was going to say I could really use a rapier, but I mean, there's no way you so know that I, in character. So never mind. There are rapiers and, here on the shot on the on the walls. Anyways. Yeah, but a I'm, I'm nowhere near affording it, and b <laughs> I can't even use it yet, really. All right. I'm so. I'm going to go ahead and and just pilfer pilfer some a length of chain then. Okay. Right. That's 
it's like it's big and it's heavy and chains usually noisy and you're just like but Richter's been at this for a while yeah <laughs> he knows to instead of trying to just pick it up just like hodgepodge do it one link at a time just down the pant leg <laughs> Ileana and oh the matriarch are both watching Baragon and Kalkara argue over uh, doing it for money or not and you just easily make your sack a little heavier and the, the there you go ring will not be necessary regardless of what some of my greedier companions say I she kind of whispers the last part okay I am not greedy I, I don't it's even a, I, like I'm you're as you are as benevolent as I am prudish you take that back <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some strange folk come around here, but if you can find my children and Sir Bradford, I'm obviously it would be good to have him back. He's he's a person, and, and also, and she mentions the name of the other person, the ranger that you haven't named yet. Yep, Caracas. <laughs> um, ranger number three. How long have they been missing? Uh, it'd be two weeks tomorrow. Ah. Uh. I fear for the worse, and I've, I've made my peace, but even like I said, their signet rings or some proof of their, of of what had happened to them would be better than nothing. Two weeks. I, I do mean, not hey. hold too much hope, but I will, I will try my best with these companions of mine as well. You all seem to if be very good friends. At all, <clears throat> if, if it helps at all, I survived in Shadowfell for a few months, so... A couple weeks in the sunken city. I mean, they've got a shot, especially if they had a paladin with them, right? Mm -hmm. I would hope so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but yes. I appreciate what you'll do for me. I'm going to see back to my shop unless there's anything I can help you with, or if you have any further questions. No, I will let you get on with your daily running. I have already um kept you long enough. All right. And I stomp out. <laughs> All right. Stop How Kari takes it around the shop. And we can... I don't think she purchases anything, but Most... she looks. I don't know. I have to find a list of where all the general merchandise is. Uh, it's going to be in PHP. Uh... So, uh, so I'm not... Unless you have it physically sitting, I can. I do not. But um, I left both my copies upstairs. My DM and my PHP, <laughs> of course. Everything is so, upstairs. I have uh, I, PHP. Yeah. Uh, I mean, unless you're looking for something specific or want to shop, I would say we we push past this. But if there's something you yeah. want to try to get, that's any, anything in the standard PHP. I mean, run it by me. But, I'm a monk. I don't need anything. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I would say. If, if approval by GM here to move things along, that if you want to shop and buy stuff, we can we can flash back to we can either flash back and say we purchased this much One next stress. episode, um, yeah, or 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 something along that line, just so we can keep the narrative moving. Yeah. One stress flashback. Okay, got it. <laughs> yes. Mm. Let's get bladesy. Oh, I need a blades game. Just wait. All right. Run it. Do it. I need I it. I ran a 39 session Blades in the Dark game for over a year. It's two years. That's impressive. Because you started, That's you started that game, you started that game a full season before I came on that, and we just mm -hmm. went on for like a full another year or three quarters. At the most faces around here. All right. Yes, it's a big game. It's on my YouTube. It was a great story. We still technically had to finish the last episode, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. So we will, that's something we'll conclude, but it actually has a pretty good ending for not ending. And it's pretty satisfactory, I, I believe. So that's why I haven't been too heartbroken, but that is neither here nor there. Let's come back to you guys. Is there anything else you want to do? Any more people you want to talk to in town or if you want me to Let's go. move us down the line here? That's a goal. Thank you, Mario. Uh, Mario. Mario. 
I don't know why I said it like that. I just wanted to make it different. <laughs> All right. I have to go to the map page and change your faces around because I didn't do that on this one yet. So there we go. Back to roll 20. And there's going to be some weird looking switchback stairs here that are not going to make a lot of sense because it's hard to make switchback stairs on this. And I should just use the yeah. map. But uh, let's see. Show to others. That's not what I wanted to do. Reveal areas. There we go. All right. So I have to get a little bit of hang of combat here. Not that we're doing combat, but let's say we, uh -huh. let's say we are doing combat. I might have to get the hang of it. So just don't forget when we roll initiative. Um, click your token. Click your token first mm -hmm. and then hit the initiative button. Yes. Although it, although it helps if you have the tracker out. Yeah, you have to have the tracker out. Oh, I'm going to have the tracker out. Okay, I'll get the tracker out. <laughs> um, let me pull up my little fun boxes here. Okay, so you guys have two horses between you to make travel go a little quicker, depending on how you switch on and off and who rides double and who rides what here and back and forth. Okay? That is extremely bold of you to um, assert that Elenia would want to switch off. Well... <laughs> Richter Richter has no problem just riding our our Leonin friend. Like just he, he just kinda like perches onto the shoulder or is just like <laughs> He's probably anyone too who anyone who wants to get on my shoulders can. <laughs> He's probably too big to ride a horse too, or maybe I see maybe him being the walker. Richter riding him, Ileana riding a horse, and then the last horse is a switch off or a double ride between Grim and Kalkara. That's kind of how I'm seeing it, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. We can do Alcaria the... will let Grim have it. Oh, <laughs> he, okay. he needs it, you know? I figure we're both light, though. We could double. Kakaria as a monk, could probably keep pace with the horses. Yeah, to that's be exactly what I was thinking. Okay, that works perfect. We'll, we'll let the old guy ride. <laughs> Arrive well-rested. Yeah, Richter the entire way was just kind of whittling on some wood with one of his taggers while sitting, while just kind of sitting on Grimclaw's uh, it's shoulder. Because I'm very there. Yep. It's a comfortable. <laughs> so, <sighs> who's ready to ba break the bad news that very likely that the these kids are very, very much dead? That's only been a couple Probably. of weeks. We need to hold out some hope. Maybe the paladin is at least alive. I don't. I don't think the others, if they are alive, they'll be heavily injured. But uh, honestly, I am little more than skeptical. Skeptical. I mean, with the mm. reputation of this joint, the whole, the whole. Death to children and cattle. So, two two greenhorns. You should always hold out hope. Do not think for. Do not always think the worst. Have it in the back of your mind, but think of good things that could happen. No, 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 no. You got you got that backwards. Always expect the worst. Therefore, there's a chance you could be surprised. <laughs> no, no I, that is not. I mean. I... <clears throat> no offense to, to you, Grimclaw, buddy, but uh, you are very much an idealist. I like to think of myself a realist. Hey, uh, youngin, here's the real word. Live in the moment. <laughs> Pay attention to what's going on right now. That's that. actually that's actually a perfect time to set the ambush, I think. Oh, dear. You guys are talking. <laughs> I should read a description. Because that's what you get to do as GM, and everybody's like... Let's our eyes glaze over for the description real quick, and then we come back to mm -hmm. reality. As the old road passes to the east of the narrow ravine, as we see this big crack that's in the earth going asunder, running for miles in each direction. All right. There we go. At the road's closest approach to the cleft, several broken pillars jut from the earth where the ravine widens. Two of the pillars stand straight, but mostly in a top, a, a top sloped earth. Others are broken, and several have apparently fallen into dark depths. A few similar pillars are visible on the opposite side of the ravine. Wait over there. A sturdy, knotted rope is tied to one of the leaning pillars on this side of the ravine, 
of course, has been cast down into the darkness below. Now, I tried to roll some stealth checks. Not very well. <laughs> Weak squeak. <laughs> oh, dang it. I gotta get the hang of like how I'm going to like jump back and forth here on all these sheets. I think the result is we have a surprise round on our attackers. I think that'll probably be what happens. So everybody roll initiative. Woo! Them, them rats have certainly rolled some baller initiative, though. We get to play whack-a-mole with rats. Oh, yes. So you guys are talking, and you hear Grim say, live in the moment, live for now, and... You were looking around, and that's when you start to hear from the rubble and over the edge, you hear the, just the, the squeak of what would be a rat. But they're much bigger squeaks, much a little bit not as high-pitched. And as they come crawling up over the edge and where you see them on the map, these three spots, you're like, oh, man, yeah, they're, they're not just, you know, rats or giant rats or, you know, the biggest house cat you've ever seen or maybe the smallest dog you've ever seen about that size with these long, ropey tails. And these nasty-looking, diseased teeth, dripping with this green bile, and they come up. They got these beady red eyes, and they are hungry. And they smell the blood and the sweat of you and your horses. And they want dinner, my friends. Everybody, get into the initiative order. Yep. One thing. Let's get descending here. Oh, that is painful. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I have a negative one modifier. However. I had a plus three modifier, and I still rolled pretty. You guys weren't necessarily yeah. being quiet. Now, you come. I'm, I'm going to say, for sake of argument, were the horses, were you guys already dismounted as you approached this? Grim, are you still on horseback? And Leanna, are you still on horseback? Yeah, I'll be on horseback. Yeah, probably. Okay, I don't, <laughs> sweet, I don't have horse tokens, so. Just copy uh, the, uh, the unknown of times. <laughs> I I could probably so, buy one. Give me one second. And, uh, and I'm <laughs> technically writing writing our yes. You can our Leonin. <laughs> I I just copy pasted you there. I should let you put yourself anywhere you want. Um, I think right over here is where the knotted rope goes down to the next landing. Anyway, I have the switch back stairs put here not very well, but it goes down. Ah, oh, that's what those are. Yeah. yeah, it's supposed to go like, if you follow my rat here and then down, whoops, get back there. Anyways, so yeah, you guys can be wherever you want. You will have the first surprise round here as they did not, they were not stealthy in any way, especially since I didn't see a stealth check on their character sheet. So, I, just... I mean, so long as, yeah, so long as someone here had a higher passive perception than all those, which I think everyone's passive perception mm -hmm. was higher than that. That's I don't I think it's possible to have lower at this point. All right. Famous so. last words. I said at this point. Anyway, my, my passive is 12, so I know at least one of us does. Oh, Grimclaw. He's just like, yep, rat, rat, rat. So, there's two of you on horses. And who's first? Looks like Kalkara. I believe that's me. Give me a moment. I'm pulling up. I've forgotten how to play a monk. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Lucas, are we ending at 10? We are going to. Yeah, we're supposed to. I thought I'd get us oh. a first. I think we may get like the first round of combat in and we'll probably. Okay. In case we slaughter these right off the bat. I wanted to get at least a little. I was hoping we could get to the first combat. And I can take a lot of notes home and go, all right, this is what you do to to make it go a little actually i think it went really well we got a good introduction we got a good role play back and forth between everybody we got the mission or all the missions we got back on the road and a little more role play and here you guys are right in the first combat so i'm happy with this especially with the 10 minute hiatus because internet Heck problems issues. yep so kakara uh, i'm gonna whack a rat I think whack rat is good. Let's see. And because I'm a monk, so she's going to whack at it with a quarterstaff. 
and give a good kick for extra measure. Yes, bonus action, extra Where's attack. my roll popping up? Has it popped up yet? Yes, because I'm a monk. Oh, it rolled. Okay, good. Uh, 15 with the quarter staff to hit. Why did it roll twice? You shouldn't have rolled oh. twice. Whatever. Roll 20 is being slow for me. So I <laughs> guess it rolled twice. I just used the first roll. Okay. And a kick for good measure. All right. Well, you hit it with the first attack. Eight uh. bludgeon damage. Like, yeah, eight it? damage from the staff. I only rolled a 10 to kick it, though. Well, you can kick it anyway because you bring the quarter staff down and it appears and it like hisses at you and then the head just splits open as your quarter staff oh. just makes muck out of it. And when you kick it, it's just like sitting there with no head and you kick it and it goes <laughs> right down into the ravine. <laughs> you punt it like Charlie Brown, except that Lucy did not pull the ball away. So well done. Pop it. <laughs> <laughs> Twist it. Soundwaves ghost. Ah, he pressed smack it. Soundwave's goes throwing a hundred cheer bits and giving a plus two to a PC's roll. So that goes into a pool that anybody Woo. can use at any time. Thank you, Soundwave's ghost. He said he meant Thank to do that sound. earlier and did not. So he has put that back in. So we'll have to make a note of that in our notes section too, that you guys have a plus two in the pool. Thank you very much, Soundwave's. Let's get through this round of combat and the surprise round, and that's what we'll call it. So after Kalkara, very good, by the way. Um, are you going to move, or are you going to be satisfied with where you are? Uh, I've got two rats on me, right? Uh, you only have the one. Oh, okay. There's something off the... This one? In the fog of war right that's, there. Uh, that's the... Like no, that's... Uh, is that the one I kicked? That's the Liana's familiar. No. no. Uh, off right on the other side of my token, where I'm pinging. I don't have anything there. I don't see anything. I don't see anything there. That might be on your screen. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything either. No, yep. there's a rat token there. See, I had I had a little mess up too, because remember I was talking to John earlier, and there's a rat token on this very spot where like it's not supposed to be there, but it's there. So. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, it's not there. You can, safe. if you want stuff to like not line up with the grid, you can use um. Alt. Alt. Yeah. Yep. Or I found that out. Yesterday, after being on DN or Roll20 for like over a year, I just got that not too recently myself because I never used Snap to Grid. And uh, anyway, let me keep going. Baragon, you're going to be next, and then Richter. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Kakara yeah. moves up there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes, the one closest to me with, the, with my l one long sword that I would have got out, I swing for it. As if the first rat didn't have a death wish coming up next to the monk, the other rat pops up next to a literal <laughs> giant cat. Yeah. This cat and mouse game just got real. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, throw your strike at it. So when you run you roll damage, oh, 19. I think that's going to do it. Go ahead and just click on longsword in the chat, and that's how you roll your damage. Wow really didn't do much considering what I could do. Well, let's just say. Slashing is. Whereas the first rat hat, rat's head got split, this one leaves its body as you part it with a nice golf club swing and inventing golf simultaneously as the head flies off into the distance back the way that you came. And this giant rat flaps to the ground. Ugh, puny rats. Tricks are for kids. Wait, wrong thing. <laughs> Richter. Richter is going to, of course, jump from Grimclaw's block back, and he's going to scurry over here, mm -hmm. drawing his rapier. And he is going to get so get in a sneak attack against this rat here, because there is a friendly adjacent to the rat. <laughs> there is. There is. Almost like I planned for that. Mm-hmm. It watches Kalkara coming up at it, and she's like... Pokey pokey! <laughs> Holy <laughs> Jesus. Doesn't see, the, doesn't see the halfling rolling up in a ball, and... Stink! So, Rat on a stick? You guys did eight damage each time. A bludgeoning, a slashing, <laughs> and a piercing. Nice. Rat on a stick as you just lift it up. This the thing is almost... Trinity. As, it's almost as... 
<laughs> it's almost as big as Richter is as he spears this thing and holds it up. And it's just like, and then and then he just arts like he just then flicks it into the canyon. Yep. No, like, wait, that was lunch. We could have roasted it. I refuse to eat such a it, thing. You would. Thing. Yeah, you so, would. I so actually kind of have to agree with Princess over here. These things probably were a little bit rabid. Uh, no, they take. You don't eat the brain. Wow, that was. Swim Not a rat, guys. anyway. Grim and Eliana are just That like... was great. <laughs> Boom. Well, there we go. I think. <laughs> I don't have to say anything else. As much as I wanted everybody else to have a turn, there's nothing else. Unless you, unless the cleric or the elf or the bladesinger, I mean, want to turn on the party or turn on the horses, I really don't think there's much else to do <laughs> there as we'll step out of combat. No, of course not, Lucas. No. Yeah. That would require wasting valuable spells. Grim will just turn on the DM somehow. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> he's vying God. for this position. See him. Goddamn raps. That's why they live in the walls of everywhere. Uh, I mean, they kind of do. Yes. I mean, literally. <laughs> They're everywhere. Uh, good session, guys. That was it. That's where we're going to pause, I think. <laughs> I think we got a little bit of everything done today and I appreciate everybody being here. There we go. That is episode one of the Sunland Citadel of the Yawning Portal campaign. And I am Lucas G. Variety. And what we always do here is do some quick shout tros, as we like to call them, where I pass it around and people can shout out themselves what they're doing to other people, their media, whatever they want to be known for, or they can just be like, you know, what? I don't need anything. I just, thanks for playing. Thanks for letting me play. I had a good time. Or, this is the terrible, most worst experience ever. I'm never coming back. Whatever you want to say. Josh, don't even think about it. Just saying. <laughs> Which one? None of you. <laughs> <laughs> I already, I'm already going to get that stuff from this guy This to my right over here, this grim rain human cleric. Always just giving me the grief. It's like he's known me all my life or something. The griefy people. The yeah. griefy people. But, Freaking griefers. <laughs> well, anyway... We have four shows going on in a two-week period, all switching bi-weekly. So this game alternates on the opposite Fridays with Robotech, the Macro Saga. And then on Tuesdays, we go back and forth between Dungeon World, the Indigo, Indigo Magic, and uh, Alien RPG. So all these people here, most people here, are part of some of those or watching or fans of. And so we're also going to be starting up, I think, another Friday game on the off Friday of another Dungeon World, but will be run by Dem, my good buddy, and it's a separate stream. He's going to be taking the reins on this channel and doing a full game with a, with maybe one person that's in this game right now and some other new folk. So I'll let them talk about it as we come to the various games. That's it. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff going on down the pipe. I got a big reveal coming up for everybody, including friends, family, people in real life, and all of you. I'll get to when I can, as well as a charity gaming coming up in the end of August, beginning of September, I'm looking at like a six hour stream and some fun there. And he's going to do some extra life charity gaming as Jodo does a lot. So we're going to do something, a project there. That's all I'm going to say. So we can get out of here tonight. I'm going to pass it clockwise on the overlay. So we're going to go over to Joseph down to frost, then over to Josh, Ava and finish up with Jodo. So I'm going to pass it to my left over to this guy right here real quick thank you hi i'm joseph i play grim rain the human cleric really excited about this you know i appreciate lucas and them in this for us it's awesome the thing i'd really say is to check out our alien rpg campaign next one's on the 11th um, and check out the vods on twitch here or youtube at lucas variety it's really entertaining so that's all i got thank you sir awesome. Pass, passed on to frost well, when I first made Ilenia, oh, God knows how long ago, I think in 2017, oh. maybe 2018, I never thought she'd, after four or five iterations, would end up on a uh, immortalized on YouTube. So it's been quite an experience playing her. Um, really great session. It's going to be interesting um playing without most of her classes uh bits and bobs yeah bits and bobs but that just makes it even uh 
more entertaining. Um, that's pretty. Oh, and I love the um, the uh, team dynamic we already have. Oh. Going. So I was gonna say, I love I love the back and forth between you guys. You guys say hit it off immediately. Yes, and that's pretty much it. I can't wait. I'm seriously looking forward to uh, next Thursday. Two, this, two Thursdays. Thursdays. Yeah, two. Oh, two. Oh. I know. Yeah, because it's all games are bi-weekly. As much as I like to play every week, we're gonna go two weeks out. But when we come back in two weeks, we'll be straight up in this dungeon, going tactical combat to tactical combat. So, with lots of quips and insults slung at each other in between, yep. I'm sure. <laughs> Anyways, <A> wine <laughs> and wine, all the wine. I hope you brought enough to share. We'll we'll find out. Let's go down here to this. Oh, if you're done, Mr. Frost. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut oh, you yeah, off. I'm done. I'm done. All right, Mr. Baragon Grimclaw yeah. of Clan Grimclaw. Uh, first off, uh, I'm Josh. Play Baragon, obviously, as Lucas just said. But I'd like to start off saying thanks for Lucas for letting me into this game. Thanks for to the other players. You're all really good. Hopefully, we have some really good, exciting adventures to come. Um, you can find me on Twitter where I occasionally ramble on some shit. Uh, at that obvious guy on Twitter, but most frequently you can find me on another channel called Into the Darkness, which you might find Lucas on there occasionally. I'm a regular player on there. I'm at least there two times a week. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you, sir. Into the Darkness dot club. Into the Darkness dot club. All Call of Cthulhu all the time. I've done three games with Tom's group. Josh is probably racking them up as we speak. And that's how I met him. We actually played, uh, shoot, what was the name of the one we just played together? Oh, fuck. Pipeline. The Pipeline. The Pipeline. Yeah. Oh, he got to watch it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, it, it was somehow, uh, no, I'm not going to say that it, it, was, it was. It was It was a fun time. I got to play Canadian. I tried oh, to do the, tried to do a Canadian and got, accent, and I got to meet Lucas because hmm? I'd been a I'd been a fan hmm. of him because I'd watched him in the two for, in the uh, intersection. Hmm. Was it intersection during? Uh, during in with Sanderson. Yeah. Yep, and then uh, Lover in the Ice, which was which I, which I have now seen because I played in it because Tom ran a second version and oh, yeah. now I've seen the first version. So gross. There's some gross parts in yeah, that one. Yeah. That's not for it the is. faint of heart. It's it anyway. Anyway. Oh man, just gonna get me going forever. Anyways, let's pass it on to <laughs> Ava here so we can we can get this done. Alrighty. I am Ava Rogers. I play Calcaria, the tiefling monk, obviously, as you just saw. Um you can find me here uh <laughs> How many games am I in now? The Three. Uh, Dungeon World game, Indigo Magic, is that what it's called? Yep. Indigo Magic. On every other Tuesday. Uh, you can find me here on this game, obviously, every other Thursday. And you can find me on the other Dungeon World game we're starting. I think we're starting this Friday, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, we may or may not be streaming the setup. I'm not 100% sure yet. We're still trying to get that every set up um, but that'll be alternate uh -oh. Fridays I think the same week uh, so you can catch me there as well uh, other than that you can find me on Twitter at that nerdy writer uh, you'll know because I'm my internet shitting out isn't it just a little bit yeah, okay. your face is frozen but we can kind of hear you okay uh, now we have a new frame. We'll get there. <laughs> it looks very disgruntled. <laughs> disgruntled frame. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, she's back. Oh. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Okay. My Wi-Fi decided to be a uh, shit. I still yeah. don't have it on my desktop for some reason. Okay. It's but my okay. laptop's back. Okay. I was in the middle of my Twitter speech. Okay. Yep. Find me on Twitter at that nerdy writer. Uh, you'll know because you'll see my lovely face with a slightly older haircut, eh. and my name Ava Rogers. 
Uh, I'm actually about to start work on a new book set based loosely off the Reaper class that I play on the Indigo Magic game. Hmm. I've kind of taken the whole Reaper shtick and the Death shtick and made that into my world build thing. Cool. So you'll see me ranting and raving a lot on there about how that's going. <laughs> and I have character art already of the two main characters. I love oh, them nice. to bits. Um, you can also catch me eventually on the Arcology podcast. Uh, it's a Shadowrun podcast. I think one of the largest, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. You can find it basically anywhere, pod anywhere you get your podcasts. Any podcatcher literally... I'm pretty sure it's on all of them. And it's Arcology, A-R-C-O-L-O-G-Y. Uh, eventually, the campaign that I'm on there, um, the Shadowrun Anarchy, uh, what was it called? Lost Vegas. Uh, we played Ghouls. A sort of rags to riches thing. We actually, it's a full campaign. We wrapped it up a few months ago. Uh, you can get it on their Patreon, but it'll also be released to the public eventually. I'm not sure exactly when yet. Um, oh, that's right. Is that I through? Think that's all I've got. Is that where Kurt or Zakara? Is that where uh, you met via him, right? No. Something else. But okay. it's related. It's all related right. to Shadowrun. <laughs> I can't quite remember exactly how I met Kurt, to be honest. It was a Shadowrun Discord server somewhere. Yeah, that's right. He's lost in the Shadow Realm of Shadow World. Shadowrun. I can't speak anymore. Oh, yeah. I was also <clears> going to. Right. Okay. I have kind of another plug. I am on actually a Shadowrun living community um, where, as both a player and a GM, called Neon Anarchy. Um, I will get Neon you jungle. the link, Lucas. Uh, no, Neon Anarchy. Oh, it's not Neon, Neon Jungle's a different one. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I haven't managed to get onto the Neon Jungle yet. It's Neon Anarchy. It's pretty house ruled. Uh, to it, it, he calls it 5.5. Uh, Shadowrun 5.5 because there's like 50 pages of house rules where we've clarified. <sighs> or completely reruled some things yeah it's actually only been going for about a month so it's still a really new community but we're really active but anyway i'll throw give lucas a link so we can put that in the show notes yeah. and that's all i've got most excellent and of course bringing up the root ear i am yeah so i'm pretty sure it's me now right we've gone through everybody else right Okay, so, because I can't see the overlay because of close Twitch because it was being annoying. <laughs> um, yep. So, but howdy, folks. I'm Jodo1025. Uh, I, today I played Richter Mercado, uh, our lovable rogue um, who, who is definitely the local garbage dumpster in terms of eating and drinking. So, um, what more there's probably more to him but we will have to find that out next episode two weeks from now um so but uh i'm here on lucas's channel quite frequently um so i am in the tuesday both the tuesday games so that's aliens rpg frozen assets as joe Potensky, and then and the indigo magic game as uh, Ralph McLeod, the Enchanter. Um, both very fun games that I love participating in, along with the, fr the Every Other Friday game. At least it's... I have we gone to Every Other Friday, or is it, or do we have a Robotech tomorrow? No, every, I'm bi-weekly switching it with the Thursday of this week, so it'll be next okay. week Friday. That's, that's what I thought. I just couldn't remember... For the life of me but yeah i'm also in the robotech game folks uh as ivan suranova the crazy russian artillery man who blows things up um so so i'm in almost everything around here um i will not be in the other dungeon world game just because i'm kind of at maximum for what i can be in right now um so when i am not here on lucas's channel as the local hobo uh you can catch me over at twitch.tv slash yoyo 1025 
where normally I stream every other week for Titans of Maran, a Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition campaign uh, as part of my Extra Life charity drive to raise money for sick children. Um, so the other, so, but uh, I was supposed to have a stream yesterday, but due to some tech nonsense, um, we had to postpone, so Titans of Maran will be back next week. Um, but the other big game that we have coming up is actually on August 8th, Saturday, August 8th, 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We will have the final part of Maureen's Mad Menagerie, another fifth edition um, kind of adventure that I'm actually not running. I'm actually playing as Jib Jab Uru Kraka, the bugbear battlemaster. Ah, oh, Jib Jab Uru Kraka, our favorite name so, ever. Which we, we established last, last session that Jib Jab actually has two parts to him. He has got Jib, the stupid part of him, and Job, the, the, the smart part of him from the headband of intellect he wears to make him not a potato. <laughs> um, so, but, uh, but that one's actually run by my my fellow Mr. Mighty M. Um, so who normally plays Beeble on my stream um, on Titans Maran. So that's so he's a wonderful game master. And again, that's another big big fundraiser for Extra Life Charity and Children's Miracle Network. So um, soon ish, I will be announcing what is going to be going in my second campaign slot for my channel it's just that well with life being all topsy-turvy it's just that it's been one of those things that i've put off just because i actually get to go back to work pretty soon and i need to figure out what the hell is going on and how that's going to affect my schedule before i announce another campaign so but it will probably be another fifth edition campaign or i might decide to go with something a little bit more light and fluffy not quite sure yet uh, I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do, but but I need to pull some players. So, but uh, but yeah. So once again, twitch.tv slash jodo1025. Big thank you to Lucas for letting me be the the channel hobo here and and being in just about everything. Big thank you to my fellow cast members. I'm already having a ton of fun bouncing off of Josh's character, bouncing off Frost's character, off Ava's character, and Joseph's character, and just. There's so much character bouncing happening right now, and it makes it makes my little D and D heart happy. So, ha, ah, little D and D heart, halfling. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyway, folks, I will turn this back over to our noble host. Yeah, it's me. All right, we're gonna get up out of here. Thank you for your for being here tonight. Thank you for joining us. Consider uh, subbing on Twitch. Especially a Twitch Prime account, it might cost you a free five dollars a month. You should throw it this way, help us raise some money and make everything a little bit cooler every single time. But <clears throat> thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for the the hundred bit cheer there, Soundwaves Ghost. Thanks for the follow, and I appreciate everybody who's been here. Thank you for the players for being here as well and taking it easy on me as I learn how to DM again because it's been a long time. So. Until next time, until Friday, until next Tuesday, we'll see you guys later on. You guys have a good night. God bless and good gaming. See you all later. Thank you. Bye.